go today? Huh? How'd it go today? How many did I get? How'd it go today? Uh, I mean, less than ideal, but it was still pretty good. Uh huh, uh huh. What is the easiest part of bead thinning and the hardest part? The easiest part? <laughs> probably just realizing how much money you're making, so you're just keeping yourself motivated. For sure. uh, the hardest part is the way your body feels after each day. It's just like trying to kill you pretty much. Your back sore, knees are sore, wrists are sore, or you get cuts in weird spots, you're dirty. How's the beat thinning going, Chris? Very well. What hurts the most right now, Matthew? Uh, probably my knees. Your knees? How many rows today? Only 50, not very many at all. Not very many today. What's your record? Uh, I think 123. That a boy, that a boy. Okay, Austin. Yeah. Describe bead thinning in three words. Um, mindless work, hard, something, no, no easy. Okay. Those, are, those are three words. <laughs> okay. It's not wrong. Chris, how many rows today? 237. Describe the ideal field. Uh, beets are about three to four inches tall. Uh, roots are, the leaves are strong enough so they don't rip off and the dirt is soft. Um, and you can just cruise and, yeah, honestly. Oh, not too thick. The beats are not too like tightly packed together, so. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Alright. Carson, Hi. do you still have your gear on you? My what? Your gear? I have some. I just have gloves and uh -huh. I just wear pants, uh -huh. steel toe boots, and then just shirt. She's got some steel toe boots down there. Yeah? What do you think gets the dirtiest? My face. Your face? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why? Oh, because a lot of the dirt like builds up from the wind. It's been really windy since the past few days, and it just blows everywhere. It's been really windy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Schaefer, how many years you've been doing this? This is my third year. Adam, boy, which years have been the best for you? This year, for sure. Yeah, yeah. How many? What's your record this year? Three forty-five. What's the least you've ever gotten? Today, which was no, the first day. So I got like one twenty-seven. I only got 128 or 108 my very first day. Okay, how did today go? Anybody want that? It was rough. It was rough? What yes. made it rough? <laughs> um, the beats were very tiny and the ground was hard. Agreed, agreed. Okay, what is your least favorite part about beat thinning and what is your favorite part about beat thinning? Um, my favorite part is when we're done, definitely. My least favorite part was probably sweeping. Yes. The field after. Yes, describe sweeping. When you just walk through the field and then you have to bend over and pick up all the extra ones. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. Checking for doubles. Okay. Are you going to describe heat thinning in three words? Hard work. Awful. <laughs> Your equipment on you? What yes. do you use? Um, B pads and my, my trusty old hands. Yeah, your trusty old hands. No gloves? No. Do you think that's the move? No gloves? Yes. Okay, describe why. Because you can't pick out the beads with gloves. Yeah. It's just terrible. Definitely have more finesse without gloves. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree with that, but I use gloves. <laughs> Emily, describe yes. beads sitting in three words. Um, hot, windy, and the 
hard. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? How hot has it been these past two days? You know, in the 90s, um, <laughs> probably like 90, 96 ish. Mm -hmm. What would, be the, what would be the desirable temperature for me? Oh, for sure, a solid 70 degrees. 70 degrees. <laughs> yep. Okay. And uh, Maddie, how today go? It was pretty good. It was a little hot and windy, but uh -huh. we got through it. Yep. How many rows today? 171. Woo! Nice. Yep. Uh, okay. Describe the perfect, the ideal field for beet thinning. Not too big, somewhere in the middle, so you still get enough rows, and probably about like 75 degrees, mm -hmm. and a light wind, but not mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Darren, got out to Twin Oaks yesterday, and had a great start meeting everybody, and moving in to... Village Green 3, and I already got a workout in this morning, and now I'm gonna head off to breakfast. Say hi, Thad. Hello. What's your favorite part of Twin Oaks? Favorite part of Twin Oaks? Yeah, probably just the property in general. It's yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Agreed. What about you? Um, maybe the trails in the woods, yes, or the lodge, which is insane. What's up, friends? Hey. You know, just doing our favorite job, rolling silverware. <laughs> what are we having tonight, Thad? Pizza. <laughs> okay, maybe Cara will tell us about okay. pizza. You know, pizza night at camp. Build your own pizza. All the toppings just out in front of you, and you just pick and choose and make that beautiful pizza for yourself. Carl, what is your favorite part of Twin Oaks? Ooh. My favorite part of Twin Oaks is getting out on the trails, seeing mm. all the beauty back there. Mm. And now that all my friends are here. Yes. You should come to Twin Oaks. It'll be hey, fun. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> it's very beautiful out here, and you get to watch us roll silverware. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Thank See you. Later. Hey, Brady. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> Is this your, what year uh, on staff is this for you? Uh, this is my second. Alright, what's the best part about working at camp? Um, the relationships you get to build with people. Yeah, good one, good one, good one. Best part of Twin Oaks? Ooh. Either the pool or the woods with all the trails. <laughs> yep, that's a common theme right there, alright. And you want to explain to people uh, what happened a little bit and why we're here. And there's Zay. Both <laughs> <laughs> <Those> questions. <laughs> Uh, what happened to our other camp, and why did we make this one? Yeah, spits are uh, flooded, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of water there that caused a bunch of damage to the buildings. So we're not really able to use that at the moment mm -hmm. for probably a few years. Yeah, yeah, that's a major bum ski. Zay, how's the day going? It's going good. I just swam in the pond. For real? <laughs> swam in the pond, yeah, first time. We were scared we were going to, we just haven't been in it yet. Yeah. Um, it was fine. There's a bunch of minnows in there. By the paddle boats? By the paddle boats. Wow. Did you take a shower afterwards? <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow. That's... Uh, no. Like, I went under the dock so we could lift it. That was it. That's yeah. that's a bold move. Yeah. Tell people about uh, the situation back there, what it all looks like. and. You know, long right. story short, we saved camp. Okay? So. <laughs> attaboy, attaboy. <laughs> what, what is uh, your favorite part of Twin Oaks? So far, it's the pool. Mm -hmm. I was skeptical about the pool at first. I was like, I don't know how I feel about a pool. Mm -hmm. But it's been super cool. Yeah. We've been swimming in it like almost every morning. Anything else you want to let people know? Uh, hey, I have a YouTube channel too. You should check it out. It's no. Isaiah Dorn. <laughs> Yeah. Plugging myself. Future collab question mark? Yes, future collab for sure. We're gonna do a vlog here at camp. Ooh. Keep an eye out. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so what's your name and your job description? Yeah, so Simon Eggman, marketing director. Nice. And what's your favorite part about being out at Twin Oaks? Uh, definitely having people back out here and the trails. If you come out here, you gotta check out Narnia on the trails. For sure. Alright, uh, anything else you wanna let people know? 
Uh, visit the rec shed if you come out here. Um, we have a bunch of games, a bunch of yard games. We have can jam. Um, we have aero sports. We have ladder golf. We have a bunch of stuff, and people aren't utilizing it right now. There's too much other things to do around, so visit me. Uh huh. Favorite yard game? Ooh, definitely can jam right now. Although, um, Mulkey, never heard of it before, but played it a couple nights ago. Very fun. Perfect. Thanks, Simon. Okay, what is your name and your favorite part about Twin Oaks? Mm. So my name is Emily Eggman, and I think my favorite part is just the grounds and the woods and all of the wildlife around us. Now, what is your purpose in life slash your purpose at <laughs> Twin Oaks? Um, so overarching purpose in life is to love God first and then to love other people. Um, and I try to carry that with me into every aspect of my life and especially here at Twin Oaks when there are a lot of people that just really need to see the love of God. Perfect, okay, and then one last thing. What's one cool fact or some part of the history of Twin Oaks that you know that you wanna share with people? Ooh, I really like, we have something called an Anukshuk, which is a giant statue of a guy and he points towards the trailhead and it's like 20 feet tall and it's really cool. I agree. I agree. Perfect. Thank you so much. Of course. Oh, what is Inspiration Point? Inspiration Point is a Christian camp, uh -huh. and we serve families, kids, anybody who wants to come and get to tell them about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And why do you think? Why have you dedicated the past thirty some years mm -hmm. to this ministry? Because the gospel is worth it. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed seeing. Uh, what I'm doing this summer a little bit and hearing my coworkers' thoughts on the jobs that we're doing and learning a little bit of stuff about thinning sugar beets and then also about serving out here at uh, Inspiration Point at Twin Oaks. Catch you later.